get on live streams, niggas, cause I wanted to get high. I'm getting high today, nigga. I ain't even lying to you, gay. <laughs> Another woman hits Diddy with another lawsuit claiming he raped her multiple times. Should be the sixth woman. God damn. Sean P. Diddy Combs is facing another lawsuit, but this time one has been filed by a former student at New York City Fashion Institute of Technology who alleges he drugged and raped her in the 1990s. On Thursday, April Lampros filed a lawsuit in the Supreme Court of New York County claiming her relationship with the disgraced rapper started when he offered to mentor her in the fashion industry. Now she recalls meeting Mr. Combs at a Soho bar in 1995 alleging he overpowered her with alcohol and later took her back to his Millennium Hotel room. Lampros, who is now 51, claims as the walls were closing in on her and the petition says she was unable to defend herself and woke up the following day new, sore, and confused. Wow, that's crazy. And according to documents, Lampros kept her distance from Mr. Combs for months until he reached out and invited her to his events in the music industry. She then recalls heading to a dinner with the rapper and him forcing her to perform oral sex on him in a parking garage where they were spotted by a garage attendant, but Mr. Combs didn't seem to care, according to the filing. After that night, Lampros dodged Combs, which led him to become angry and develop a mobster personality as he threatened to blacklist her from the industry. In 1996, Lampros says she was ordered to Combs' apartment where she was introduced to his now ex-girlfriend, Kim Porter. She alleged ecstasy was forced down her throat and she was forced to have sex with Porter as Combs masturbated. Lampros claims she was raped once again by Mr. Combs. In 1998, Lampros officially cut Combs off but recalled Porter who died in November 2018 showing up at a restaurant where she worked. She claims that Porter allegedly told the restaurant owner that Lampros tried to poison her and demanded she be fired or have Mr. Combs have the eatery shut down and as a result she was fired. Lampros also listed Bad Boy Records, Artisa, and Sony Music Entertainment as defendants in this lawsuit as she seeks to be compensated for the alleged damages in the titles allowed Combs to commit. Lampros bombshell lawsuit comes days after Combs was sued by a former model alleging she was drugged and sexually assaulted by the music mogul. And several other women have also came forward alleging similar incidents since Combs' ex Cassie Ventura, whom he dated for a decade, filed a lawsuit against him in November. That he settled 24 hours later. But then an old video clip of Mr. Combs beating Cassie Ventura in the hotel hallway from 2016 surfaced last week. And before the video was released, Mr. Combs denied the allegations presented by Cassie Ventura slamming them as offensive and outrageous. But however, he did issue an apology video over the weekend describing his actions as unexcusable, asking for forgiveness. And then Cassie breaks her silence after Diddy abuse footage surfaces and she says, I will always be recovering from my past. Cassie broke her silence on Thursday morning, posted a statement to Instagram. And she posted, my only ask is that everyone open your heart to believe in victims the first time. She went on to explain that the outpouring of love has created a place for her younger self to settle and feel safe now. But this is only the beginning, Venture wrote. Domestic violence is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from the past. This healing journey is never ending, but this support means everything to me, she also said. And she says, thank you. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this though, man. I brought this up and I did a quick video real quick and I was like, let me just see what my subscribers think about this. I pretty much want to know what your input is and I'll drop enough inputs and likes 
you know, uh, shares and share the video and all that and keep rocking with trenches politics we politics from the trenches then we gonna uh probably do a live on this but uh yeah let me know what y'all think about the situation man do y'all think this girl is just getting in line for a quick payday too like the other six other women did with p diddy or do y'all feel like i mean is she just really telling the truth let me know what y'all think but make sure I hit that like button, drop a comment to the situation, and set your notification. Let's get it, y'all.